Right then. Right. I guess this, this is where it starts. Yeah, right this now. is yours literally setting off. Yeah, so we've had a couple of days at Willow Fields. We have made alterations again to the van. We have um, made sure, made sure again, and then triple made sure that everything's with us that we need to be with us yes i had to stop myself because i was looking at things thinking oh my god what if i need to learn to crochet while i'm away and i've not got any stuff to crochet with that's the level i was at so i stopped yeah <laughs> so even things like you've got two pans so two pans for spares um, you know, making sure that we've got the water filter, that we've got things that we can fill up from streams or whatever. Yeah. And, and just, you know, all the things. And then obviously we've got to make sure we've got summer clothes and winter clothes. Yes. Um, and winter hats and caps and suntan lotion. Yeah. And chap cream. And, <laughs> and then all the gadgets have to be configured and set up and ready to go and all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah. And I don't just mean us. Yeah. <laughs> and all the downloading of things that we can Films access from that, yeah. Netflix and Prime and Kindle books and Amazon music playlists and yeah it's been um, it's been fun yes so uh, obviously apologies if this isn't um, the most exciting vlog ever <laughs> but while we're on that subject please do make sure you subscribe yes subscribe <laughs> so ding that bell yeah so you don't miss out on any of our future videos which I promise you will be much better and more scenic and, and <laughs> more interesting. Yeah, they'll get better from here. It's, yeah. it's not us two just running around like headless chickens trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. So first thing tomorrow, we're going to get Coop sorted out. As you can hear, is uh, panting away in the background because he doesn't like travelling so much. No, no, it'd be all right when the engine's running. It's because we're sat here and the engine's not running, yeah. so it's, uh, it's a little bit better. But yeah, we've got his AHC appointment in the morning. So that's the first in the things we've got to uh, yep. got to get sorted. Um, and yeah. Um, yeah. Exciting from them, that point on. So, let's head south. Yep. Down south. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You're going go down south. south. Yes, let's go down south. Come on up. Off we go. There we go. Paperwork in hand. So, it's the Broadway Veterinary Group. He's had his little health check. We've got everything now, so we can go! Woohoo! Oh, good boy! Everything good boy. going all right there? Yep, all sorted, all stamped and good Excellent. on every page. So I'll just have a quick read through that and just make sure, but the lady did it and she's been doing them all the time. Right. She had somebody else check it and then they had somebody else check it because they okay. know they've had one in the whole time they've been doing them, they've had one refused and it wasn't for any reason apart from the person on the at Eurotunnel got confused. I cannot fault them. They are literally the nicest vets that we've ever, ever been to. Aww. Absolutely brilliant. So just to confirm again, it's Broadway Veterinary Group and that's in Hearn Bay. And we chose this one because of the well, Turkish restaurant that we like. It was right. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> but it, it was that. It was the fact that it had to be close to our exit point. Yeah, just in case we have any problems with that, we can come back. Yeah, so Channel Tunnel. Um, and obviously, there was a price yeah. point that we were prepared to pay as well. And they yeah. were uh, within that price Absolutely. point. Absolutely. So uh, if you want to go and call in here, stay at Canterbury Park and ride overnight. Yep. Channel Tunnel the next day and then you're off. Right, so you're going to use that Facebook group now that we linked in our other video to see that that conforms to everything it's supposed to. Yep, absolutely. I did check um, yesterday and on the Facebook group itself there's a link section and somebody has uploaded what a correct one should look like, including it having a stamp on every page and which bits should be crossed out and, and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to go fetch that PDF up now. And then we can go. Hooray! And Cooper can come with us. Cooper can come too. Oh, he's such a good boy! <laughs> he was just lying on the floor the whole time. Everyone kept coming out and stroking him, going, Wow, isn't he chill? He is, he's a good he's boy. Such a good boy. So, is it all checked, validated? Yep, if anything, there's more stamps than are needed, but I think that that's never going to be a bad thing, is it? Oh. Well, so. Obviously, these guys are going to have to wait a week now to find out if it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Put a link in the description down below, but it is also linked on the previous video where we talked about planning and the things we have to do. Yeah, though you've just been incredibly helpful, I think, that, that Facebook group. I'm not a big fan of Facebooks. I think the drama gets a bit too much, but 
they've been none it's just been helpful people and it's real life experience where people will say i did that yesterday i got through no problems at all because of this this and this so i think that's what i like a lot about it it's very good cool. Showing you the steam train by the way, not the sign that says no overnight camping, which is still a bit annoying, but we've made it to Dungeness. It's our tour of nuclear power facilities. Hey! <coughs> Signs well, now Dungeness. Any more? I'm sure we can. Sure, fine, come. We're going to do, go to the beach first. Yeah, you want to go that way? Yeah. that way. That way. That way. Nice lighthouse as well. Oh, right, I'm going to be a good boy. I'm not going to do that, and I'm not going to do that. But come on! I was just taking a pee. And I did stick to 20 as well. We're not doing any fires either. No, we're not doing any fires either. But, you know, come on now. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear us with this wind. But he's a happy boy off his lead at the seaside. Oh, make your way up. Yay. And I'm going again. <laughs> so apart from the nuclear plant, but yeah, Dungeness. How nice is this? We didn't really think we were going to be in Dungeness this morning when we set off. No. And uh, we may be recording this later again if we get back and play it and you yes. can't hear us. <laughs> yeah. But it is really nice. Oh, he's in. He's gone for a dunk. He gets sure he just goes in and he goes up to like halfway up his legs. And then he looks at you as if to say, is this all right? And if he can't actually <laughs> see you, he'll just come and check. Oh. Well, it has finally happened. Not wanting to be a drama queen, but anybody that knows me will figure out that this, this is a big deal. My frying pan has almost gone to frying pan heaven. Not quite willing to give up on it yet, but it has made its way to be emergency frying pan because you know, it, it's still, it's not like, completely toast but all the non-sticks coming off in the middle so I now have no pan 
Look how shiny and lovely it is. It's got a wooden handle and a wooden knobby thing there. And uh, it is time for me to cook something new. I've been thinking about this since this morning because I've had these in the fridge. And I want to make a big meal with them instead of putting them in a wrap with some mango chutney and some lettuce leaves. So I decided I'm going to make, ready for this, saucy biryani. It's probably not the very first time it's been done. It's going to be like a tikka-ified rice in a sauce with the tikka and I'm going to make some naan bread to go with it. I'm going to try my hand at peshwari naan. We have these which are going to be the main staple ingredient there. Um, Greek yoghurt to cream it up a little bit, passata, coconut cream, that'll make the sauce nice and saucy, put some sultanas in, an onion hiding at the back, mushrooms and peppers, a couple of potatoes, I'm going to finally chop them up because I like the texture, and some sweet corn. There's the rice for the spices, garlic, ginger, paprika, and garam masala, so that will do all the work instead of me having to fiddle around with all the individual bits and bats and of course when you do put tomatoes in I do find a bit of sugar always helps in there so I'll pop that in too but first I'm going to make some naan bread in true Mandy style I haven't got the right things in for a peshwari naan but having discussed it with the peshwari connoisseur aka John decided I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a do-it-yourself thing I've no almond flour so that's going to change the flavour a little bit but I'm going to do my two ingredient dough so I've got Greek yoghurt and plain flour and it's equal measures of each of those and I'm using a two thirds of a cup cup so I'll just do a scoop of the Greek yoghurt and then a scoop of the flour all the other way around and uh, that would be it in the bowl but I'm going to put a little bit less of the Greek yoghurt in and I'm going to put some of this coconut cream in I don't think I'll use the whole thing in the recipe anyway so I'll put some in here to give the naan a coconutty flavour then I'm going to roll them out and I'm going to just put some sultanas and some brown sugar in the middle to get it nice and sweet and uh, I think that will taste really nice as well. So it's uh, two thirds of a cup of plain flour and I just pour it straight into the cup without compacting it down. Make sure it can be just a little bit more than you need, it's rather rather it be too uh, dry than too wet. And then with the Greek yoghurt just spoon it into the thing, I've left it with some air gaps in there so it's almost two thirds of a cup. Then I can add in the coconut cream at the end and just mix all of that together. So just give that a good mix around with the spoon, you'll find it comes together really, really quickly. You'll find it being a little bit sticky at first, and this is why I'm making this before I do anything else for the curry, because I will just leave it standing in that bowl, I'll put a tea towel over the top and leave it standing, because the more you leave it there, the more the gluten comes through from the flour and it goes less sticky. So when you do go to make it into the naan and make the shapes later on, it'll be much easier to work with. So that'll probably get a good I'd say 45 minute rest at the minute. So the next thing for me to do is to just chop all the veggies up because all the veggies are going to go in the pan first and get them all frying off with the spices and then I'll start adding rice and, and, and things after that so uh, it's better to be prepared and chop before you cook so let's get chopping. Got my new pan, love this pan so we'll get that on to what should we do? Now turn it on 400 degrees and get some oil in ready for the onions so to kick this all off, I'm going to put the onions in just for a little bit first. I like to get them sweated down a bit. The mushrooms will release a bit of water as they're in there. So they find that the onions tend to not caramelise at all if they're in there without um, without any other veggies in. Smells amazing. Just the onions and the oil. I do like the smell of frying onions. They're just going translucent now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the spices in and uh, then I'll put the rest of the veggies in. So I'll start off. I'm a bit lazy, so I use garlic puree and just a good, uh, probably two, two teaspoons of garlic. Same for ginger. Garam masala, that smells amazing. I'm going to put two teaspoons of that in there as well. Heat of course. Some paprika, because I like paprika in everything. And give that a good old stir. Oh my god, that smells good. So 
I've now put all the veggies in the pan. I'm going to give them a good stir around so you can see the spice is covering all those veggies. I'm going to leave them in the pan for, I don't know, two or three minutes until the mushrooms have let their water go. Because I find that if you do it too soon, the mushrooms get a bit of a slimy texture going and I'm not too keen on that in any of my food. So once the mushrooms have let the water go, I'm going to start then adding the rice and everything else into it. So the veggies look good to me. You see they're really nicely covered and the mushrooms have sweat out nicely. So now I've got the rice, I've already pre-measured it into a cup, so that's two thirds of a cup, which equates to just over four ounces, which is two ounce portion size each. And um, I'm gonna pop that in and then give that a really good stir so it's all coated with the spices too. Leave that in the pan for a couple of minutes. I think it really helps with the flavor on the rice. Then I'm gonna start adding some liquids. So you can see that the rice is going a little bit translucent, which is the perfect time to start adding the liquid. So I'll put in the uh, full carton of passata. It's, loves, it's this lovely tomato with flavour running through it. And also what the leftover of the coconut cream from what I used for the Peshwari Nam before. So I love coconut cream. It takes up less space in your cupboard as well because it's not in a tin. And I do find that it packs a punch compared to the coconut milk. So I'll plunk that in there and give it a real good stir around. And then it's just a case of cooking it now until the rice is cooked. I've got pre-cooked chicken tikka that I'm going to stir through at the end with the sweet corn just to warm it through so I'm not too worried about getting that in just yet. Put the sultanas and that's two teaspoons or heaped teaspoons of dark muscovado sugar just to offset the tartness of the tomato. I gave it a bit of a taste and realised it was a bit tart so uh, that's gone in. Hopefully after a couple of minutes I'll be able to tell that that's okay. I kind of already started poking the bread and then I realised I really needed to record it for you. Uh, the Rice has been in with all the liquids for about 10 minutes. I've just given it a stir because it was just starting to cook more on the bottom. It's cooking through wonderfully. It tastes amazing of the, the little bits that I've, uh, I've tasted. I might pop a little bit more garam masala in there in a bit just to make the uh, flavours a bit more punchy. But for now it's time to make the naan. And I think I'm just going to do one big one each for me and John. Ray. <laughs> I like a big one. Uh, so I'm just going to split this dough in half and roll it out as flat as I can and then start putting the bits in. Sultanas over the top and a little bit of sugar. I like these as they are anyway when they're fried up with butter and oil so these extra flavours should just be nice and complement everything and that's the main hope. So that's on the plate ready to go. I'll do the other one now and um, once this rice is sorted I'll get them in the frying pan. So that looks like it's done. Just had a bit of a taste and it tastes like the rice is sorted. I did add another teaspoon of garam masala in there because it just needed that little bit of a boost and it tastes a lot better now. And uh, once it's done, I'm going to put some Greek yogurt in and stir that through and warm it through. Obviously I have to leave that till the very end so it doesn't curdle. Um, so for now, I am going to pop in the sweet corn and the chicken tiga pieces, give them a stir through and get them warmed through before I put the Greek yogurt in. Right, that's done. I've turned the pan off. Just going to stir through some Greek yogurt and let the residual heat in the pan um, warm that through. Then I'm going to put that to one side, cut my trusty old frying pan out of the uh, garage because I'm going to cook the naan bread in that. Right, pans off, new pans on. Start off at 400, I'm just going to warm up some butter and some oil in there and then get these naan beds cooking because I'm starving now, so uh, I'm literally wasting away. It's going to whap it up to 800, so once naan bread is in and it starts getting those little bubbles in it, then I can turn it down after that. I wonder if you can see there. It's crisping up nicely. We'll give it another two minutes and then flip it over more butter in there and then flipped it one more time another 30 seconds and I'm going to wrap it up in some foil while I do the last one. Alright so that looks done so I'm going to plunk that over here. I'm going to do a very quick pan swap. Two pan meal. Two separate pans just to save me washing one that's all. Two pan meal. So that one's done looks lovely nice and a little bit of a crisp on the outside I just like it like that way anyway and uh, just put them in the foil slice them in half freeze ease of use in and then plonk them on the table once this has just had a couple of minutes just to make sure it's all warm back through again then that's coming out this is done it smells amazing it looks amazing and now it's warm enough um only needed another minute or so because it had been off the heat for a while i'm going to put this out it is a big pile of stodge which is what we like best it's like a risotto biryani kind of thing probably used the wrong rice but i like it like this um 
Let's go see what the man thinks, eh? No, but it's good. I have a taste of it on its own without dipping it in the curry. That's amazing. May not be Pucca Biryani. I know people that make this authentically will probably be shouting at me now. But it's very nice. Good. I approve. Good flavours. <gasps> John approved. Went starving, so I'm digging him. So just in the North Downs in Kent, and somewhere we've just arrived at is the Y National Nature Reserve. So a uh, little car park, park up overnight. So yeah, really cool. Glad we found this one, but loads of things to do hopefully as well. Oh yeah, that map looks like there's loads of little walks and things for us to go and have a look at. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Bit of exploring. So from a wet Wales a few weeks ago and the weather's really picked up, we've had quite a nice time touring around the south. Yeah, we've had a few really, really cool park-ups and stuff, haven't we? We've had some, some really nice places to see, it's been lovely. Yeah, it was good to get to Dungeness as well, because we've been thinking of getting there for a while. Well, Daz has been going on about it for ages, hasn't he, about crabs and, crabs and, and seafood and yeah, stuff. So, so yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm very glad that we went because it it's totally a special different. place, isn't it, though? Yeah. It's, it's like nothing we've ever seen. I yeah. thought it was going to be a bit south woldy because it's... Yeah. Uh, the, a big seafood thing isn't it but yeah it's like nothing else i've ever seen it reminded us a little bit about denmark as well yeah with the huts just nestled away in the in the dunes, in the and, dunes things. and everything yeah like that. so yeah that's a good cool. point actually i did think it looked familiar and that must mm. have been it yeah so which uh, obviously might see in a video soon denmark <laughs> what do you mean might it's one of my favorite places <laughs> <laughs> just drop me off on the way past it Aye. Mm. so yeah we've been hanging around the uh, south really um, we've got to see Daz, it's his birthday in a couple of days and then we're just waiting on our um, road trip buddies so Rob's getting a water heater done and uh, Greg and Lou have been sort of saying their goodbyes and to their family like and whatnot yeah so uh, we just got to wait for us all to Avengers Assemble but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry we've just got into watching it we've never watched them before so it's the all Marvel new ones. to me all the Marvel stuff yeah, yeah. so everybody's like old news for everybody else but it's like Probably. new for me <laughs> but yeah so we've got to do that because Coop's got everything he needs now so yep. yeah. we're uh, all set really just like I say waiting for things to happen and um, uh, four days time we shall be there. Yeah. Make sure that you subscribe, ding the bell. Ding the bell and choose all notifications yep. because we will be doing a community tab posts as well. And that'll pick them up if you do. So uh, if you want to catch us behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram. Uh, like I say, we'll probably do some community tabs as well to uh, let you know about where we've been, interesting places, things like that. Um, and our videos, we're going to keep the same format of the videos. I've seen a lot of comments saying people prefer this format video mm. rather than just cramming something into a week so that's why the videos have been a bit different and sporadic and that is that we're actually producing videos when we've done things so for example this video is part two of the previous video which actually has been about a month's worth of travel yeah which we put into two videos and then do it that way so the next video although it might be out for a week for you it might be a week it might be two days of travel it might be something really interesting yeah uh, first couple of things we're going to do is obviously get Coopy's pet uh, European pet passport and then we're going to go to Amsterdam for a bender. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Yeah. so one part of it will be about Coop and the other part might be um, 
Yeah, what well, all the things we love to do after that. Yeah, it might, or it might be that we're having so much fun we actually forget to record everything because that's the way we roll. That it does seems. happen too we a do, little bit. <laughs> we do forget to film, yeah. but no, we've got uh, John's treating me to a new selfie stick, which means that we can use phones a little bit more to yeah. uh, to get a bit better footage of us both rather than an it just outdoor being... um, microphones as well. Yeah, so I've, got, like... I've got a little pet rat in my bag now, haven't I? Uh, dead cat, of course. Is dead it a dead cat? Yeah. Oh, I prefer pet mouse. Or... <laughs> no, I <laughs> something dead in my bag. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. That's how I roll. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, the idea of the trip is we're going to bring you more raw, as it happened to us type of things, as well as the cinematic stuff and the hopeful, lovely drone shots and all that kind of stuff. But um, we just want to present each location we go to in the way that it was to us. Yeah. So there's no smarming it over, ignoring stuff or anything like that. If we go through a border crossing, it's great. You'll know about it. If we go through a border crossing, it's hell. You'll know about it. Mm. And um, if Mandy has to drive some mountain roads while I get the drone out, then no doubt that'll be on camera too. But me absolutely crapping myself <laughs> like I did in Spain up those mountains. Yeah. I did well though. You did very I well. I just did very slow. Mm. Oh, I just went very slow. Yeah. I think Lou was smack talking me over the walkie talkie last time because I was going so slow. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be fine. But no, it's all right. It'd just be Rob smack talking me this time instead. Probably, yeah. Mm. But we've got some new gear as well, new camera gear, which is going to help us do things a little bit more simply as well, hopefully. So, like 360 are, cameras. Are we all shocked? Are we all shocked that John's got some new camera gear? Yeah. Uh, so, like the selfie sticks, you know, stuff that you can just carry around with you every day. It's not this massive, big, bulky camera that gets in the way of being able to film stuff. We're just going to run and gun. Run and gun. Yeah. Yep. Do what we can where we can. Uh, John's actually looking forward to this. It sounds like it's all a bit um, well thought out, and but what he's doing is just trying to make it so it is a lot more off the off the cuff and a lot less yeah. planned out and everything. And I think he's excited about that because it, it's how you prefer to be, isn't it? You'd yeah. like to do things flying by the seat of your pants. I want to make two types of videos out of this. I want to do like every month. I want to do a cinematic travel video, and then I also want to do a real honest raw travel vlog so you can see it as we saw it mm. so that's my idea yeah, i'm gonna pull my finger out and write a blog <laughs> uh, for those of you who've asked about um our plans and uh, maps and itineraries and spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff once we've finished the route obviously then we'll pass on all that information and we'll put it on the website so you can download it and then go wherever we've been because we don't know at this minute we don't know how useful all the information is yeah. that we've got and we'd hate to be passing on information that's not tried and tested i mean we've been doing it again it's whether the laptops right, i've been going through and just doing some belt and braces stuff to make sure we've got the info it, obviously everything's changing all the time anyway yeah. so uh so yeah once we're done um we'll quite happily let everyone have everyone have a copy of my spreadsheet and I see the itinerary and the routes and we're going to share a what three words map hopefully yep. and things all like that. All that stuff. All yeah. that cool stuff. All the cool things. Yeah. Right then. So uh, don't forget if you have got cool places that we should visit and uh, not cities. Um, we've got loads of stuff to do in France and mainland Europe. But if you've got stuff in Bulgaria, um, North Macedonia, Montenegro, um, Albania. Albania, Turkey, that kind of stuff. You've got really cool stuff that we can oh, do. Yeah, and Poland as well, yeah. And Poland, yeah. Uh, then please look at our travel map. It's on our website and I'll put the link down there now. And um, yeah, well, if we find it really interesting, obviously we'll include you in the video as well. Yes, yes. Say so that um, Bob sent us there. Yes, Thanks, Bob. Bob. Cheers, Bob. <laughs> Why do we always say Bob? I don't know. I don't. He's a good lad anyway, Bob. Yeah, Bob's good. Yeah. Right, Bob. Right, I think we should go now. Yeah, I think we should too. We've <laughs> bored everybody by waffling enough. There we go. Right. Right, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, next time we see you, it'll be um, not in the UK. No, I was going to say en français, but then probably not. It'll be somewhere else altogether. It'll be somewhere else altogether, and yeah. I can't speak any Danish, so that's it. Uh, just speak English slowly. Mm. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.